I love coming in on Sundays instead of Tuesdays. <laughs> Why is that? The, the, the traffic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there I, is none. I know. I so what it. are you saying? You like the weekend morning show what? Uh, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are you? <laughs> and come on in here because we got Chef Dad in the house. Hi. And you're answering our question, saving us from disaster. I'll try. Cooking disaster. I don't know what company I'm in. Yes. I'll tell you. <laughs> we have Chef Dad and Chef Dad's daughter, Sam, in the kitchen. And you say this is a, a household favorite oh, yeah. that we're making. Big time. <laughs> Salud. And a cheers <laughs> indeed to Chef Dad, who is retiring from GMAS today. For 15 mm. years, you've been dedicating a part of your week to us, to preparing, coming up with recipes, uh, delivering them in several different stages for the presentation, the magic of tea. A lot of work, and we appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. It's been a real pleasure. And thank you to the uh, folks here at Channel 3. You guys have made me part of your family, and I sure appreciate that. And uh, thanks to my wife. Yes, who cleans Sam. up after my messes <laughs> all the time. And, but she also uh, gets to indulge. That's right. right? Well, that's Jamie, right. you were saying just the other day, people always ask how Chef Dad's doing, what recipes yeah. he's You know, got we, we do yeah. a lot of focus on digital here yeah. at 3TV and AZ Family. Yeah. And I was sitting down with our digital girls. She said, Chef Dad said segments. We always get so many hits on that. Wow. And then Lena and I were at the Waste Management Phoenix Open, and we could not believe how many men came up to us and said, <laughs> Chef Dad, we love Chef Dad. Wow. So we were, um, you know, you're very popular out in the community. People are going to miss you, not just us. The people are going to miss you as That's well. That's very sweet. And of course, thank you to the viewers. They have been so supportive and the reason why I love coming in. Do you want me to call you at 6 a.m. next Sunday morning? <laughs> you can call, but I won't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about some of the dishes that you brought here well, because well, you still have to cook one last day, right? These recipes are available for you guys on the website uh, here at AZ Family uh, and it's also at chefdad.com. I'm shutting down my uh, website very soon, so if you guys want any more of my recipes, get them now. Or if anyone wants to buy that domain from Chef Dad, you're probably willing to sell it too, yeah. right? Put it up there. I've actually got somebody who wants All right. it. But anyway, let me uh, show you some dishes and some funny stories. These are the cheese dogs in a blanket. Mm. When I made these for Tess and Javi, when we went live on the air, their mouths were full and they couldn't talk. Javi's going, mm, you know, to test, you know, take it over. I ended up opening up the segment and closing it because they were too busy eating. That was their favorite. These are my magic bars, you know, uh, chocolate chips and coconut and sweet and condensed milk and uh, macadamia nuts. It's just ridiculous good dessert. Um, April and Gina, these are their favorite. I actually brought a little tub today to put some in to put on April's desk. Oh, but we'll the problem with putting it on thing. April's desk mm -hmm. is Royal sits right across. <laughs> I know, so, I, so, royal. so I always put a little sticky note on top that says, do not touch or a thunderstorm <laughs> will be parked over your house oh. for the next two weeks. <laughs> the last it dish that uh, we got so many uh, hits on, this is Passmore's favorite. Mm -hmm. When I uh, uh, made this for Scott and Tara, on the midday show back oh. in 2004 or five, wow. it was so funny because by they kept eating them before we went live on the air. So by the time <laughs> we went live and I was trying to show people how to make it, there was no final dish oh, to show. No. <laughs> they were all gone. The acres are hard to wrangle. I think <laughs> is what the story we're learning here. Yeah, exactly. But it was so funny because uh, that was their favorite. Scott likes to make these at home himself. Mm -hmm. But you know, Italian sloppy joes little ground beef, some Italian sausage, some marinara, and I put it on a bun with a slice of provolone. Yum. It's such a great little. Pretty simple, but it's always yeah. better when somebody else makes it for you. Oh yeah, for like sure. Chef Dad, that's mm -hmm. why we so enjoy <laughs> it. So the the reason why we've had such great success is because I don't own a restaurant. I'm not out there trying to promote right. a restaurant. And uh, I'm just trying to show folks at home how to make it themselves, go to Safeway or yep. Fry's or whatever, Bashes, and get your mm -hmm. food yourself. And it's not something that you gotta go through a fancy distributor right. for. I see a picture of you and Tess over here. What's going on over here? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Tess and I at the uh, salsa contest. Ah. And uh, we were judging the hot sauces. Ooh. And you talk about a day of pain. <laughs> uh, well, we, we decided to do the hot instead of the mild and we paid for it. Um, it how, when, when was that? You guys both look like babies. Uh, <laughs> last year. Yeah. That, that was, was a few about, strands of hearing. Uh, 14,000 tacos ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course we have to talk about the pasta sauce as well. Well yeah that's what launched Chef yeah. did. I mean uh, it, it, you know I've got them into grocery stores and sold them and uh, we did very very well and that's why I originally came in to see you guys because I was promoting my pasta sauces. We had 
five SKUs. We had a marinara, a meat sauce, a, a shrimp diablo, a lobster alfredo, you know, a creamy carbonara. They were so popular. We did very well with that. But uh, that was another project that I just got too tired of after and so then, many years. And well, I mean, you, you're working a full-time job. Yep. And then doing this on the weekends and such for us. Uh, and we have to say that this all started the, This all started from cooking in the firehouse. It really did, you know, uh, shoot, nearly 40 years ago. You know, but uh, I've always loved to cook. Yeah. You know, I, my mom was a fabulous cook, but I never paid attention to yeah. her in the kitchen because I was too busy playing sports yeah. and chasing the skirts. Oh, <laughs> you're doing what? Tell uh, us more about just, this. Just, you know, playing sports. <laughs> oh, playing sports. So I thought you said something else. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so who is the hardest anchor to wrangle? Ooh. Who is most difficult Ooh. to work with? Who's the diva around here? <laughs> there was no you? diva, but uh, Ryan O'Donnell. Oh! <laughs> he did like was the spicy food. P-I-T-A. <laughs> what? Because, you know, he thought a <laughs> Snickers bar was too spicy. Oh, my God. I mean, I couldn't put pepper on anything. I mean, he was so yeah. sensitive. He was but, sensitive. you know, I loved this guy so much. We had such a blast because Jared actually does cook at home. Aww. I make yeah. an attempt, yeah. yeah. And he's good at it. So, you know, he always had some great questions. Yes. Now, Tess, when we first started working together, she didn't know how to make ice. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, and she... And then she had multiple then, children she had three and kids, realized she had to and cook. And she figured yeah. she better start cooking and stop relying on mom. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Tess learned how to cook pretty good and still uses a lot of my recipes. Tara makes my sweet potato casserole every oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it's funny how you've touched people yeah. and helped them out with some recipes and you know, made their and lives made a little more enriched. Yeah. Yeah. Well, My all-time favorite is the uh, homemade tortilla chips with the guacamole. I don't cook much, as we discussed, but we attempted to make those, and they came out amazing. It worked. <laughs> amazing. Well, anytime your wife gets sick of you, you can come back and cook yes. for us anytime you want. We will nah, take you. I'll see you guys later. All right, so we'll be right back, Arizona. Stay with us for our final goodbye.